Colorado's 54 14ers make enticing obstacles for mountain climbers throughout the year. In tonight's Friday Focus, 9 News reporter Chris Vanderveen and photojournalist Dan Weaver introduce us to one climber who is starting to make a bit of a name for himself on the 14er circuit. Oscar Wilde once said, to expect the unexpected shows a thoroughly modern intellect. He must have climbed a few 14ers in his life. It's hard to explain because it's ecstatic to borderline miserable. Up here, once you think you've seen it all, life throws you a... Come on, Pug. A curved tail. This is the Baxter of the Rocky Mountain Pug. On top of a little doll. Well, there's been some days when it's been me keeping up with him. Okay. I think I'm going to have to help him over this one, guys. Can you do it? This is the tail of the normally nimble Alan Tiefenbach. That'll wake you up. Come on, buddy, you can do it. And his mountain climbing pug. Go for the gold ring. This day's goal. All right. Getting to 14,060 feet with the assistance of nothing more than four feet. He's an right. awesome dog. I think Baxter's got an advantage with the extra two legs. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every climb Baxter's celebrity status climbs. This is the first part I've ever seen. <laughs> and if he makes it up Mount Beerstadt. Come on, dude. He'll have summited seven 14ers in his two and a half year life. He's been able to climb everything so far. They don't think pugs can climb mountains. It began as more of an experiment than anything else, says the mountain climbing enthusiast Keith and Bach. Don't hold me up, buddy. Come on. God gave pugs short noses. They tend to breathe a little funny. He snores very loudly. Actually, he can wake me up. Come on, pug. Go. My goodness, we can barely breathe up here. So imagine what it's like for him. Near the top of Beerstadt, one will find boulders bigger than bulls. I think he's small enough. And he's stout enough that he just boulder hops. And he just kind of wiggles in between the things. <sighs> Stepped on his foot. So as he makes it, an odd seven, seven summits. Ooh, nice job. And takes in the views only the mountain climber can experience. <sighs> Please pardon his tongue, not in cheek. I think it's too big for his mouth. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think a pug eat. Oscar Wilde also once said, "Let's do it, little oh, pug." Life is too important to be taken seriously. I think we're going to do Missouri. I think next weekend. I think that's probably puggable. With photojournalist Dan Weaver. Come on, Chris Vander. Nine news. Let's go. Just so cute. Tiefenbach is hardly a slouch when it comes to climbing. He has climbed 21 14ers in Colorado to date. And Baxter's exploits are already starting to get attention in the national media. Why not?